Hello guys, in this video we will discuss about immunity and immunoglobin. So before knowing about immunology and immunoglobin, we need to know about different terms like antigen, antibody, immunology, immune system. So first of all, immunology. It is a study of structure and function of human system. Human system, it includes cells, tissues, molecules that mediate resistance to infections. It will protect our body from any kind of infections, pathogens and external factors. Now coming to the Antibody and antigen. Antibody are the proteins that recognize and binds to antigens. Antigens, a protein or any kind of foreign particle that enters in our body, and antibody does, it will bind with antigen and it will protect our body to fight against any kind of infections or pathogens. So, immunity, it gives resistance of our organisms against any kind of pathogens. So, there are two types of immunity, acquired and innate. So, innate immunity. Immune system is activated immediately after the exposure of antigen. It is non-specific type. External components of innate immunity include skin, mucosal barrier, body secretions such as saliva, tears, HCL in the stomach, normal flora of the body. Now coming for the acquired immunity, immunity developed by an individual during its lifetime. Now I'll discuss about adaptive immunity. Adaptive immunity it is classified into natural immunity and artificial immunity. So natural immunity it comes passive and active natural. Under artificial immunity it comes passive artificial immunity and active artificial immunity. Under natural passive immunity we used to get from the maternal. Then active natural immunity we used to get through infections. Then artificial immunity we used to get through antibody transfer and active artificial immunity we used to get through immunization or vaccines. Now I'll discuss about the structure of normal immunoglobin that is IG molecule. It consists of two heavy chains. I think you all have seen in this diagram that light chain as well as the heavy chain. So light chain it comprises of kappa and lambda and heavy chains it comprises of IgG, IgA, IgM, IgD and IgE immunoglobins. So these immunoglobins have certain functions in our body. So we'll discuss all these immunoglobin functions one by one. In this IgG molecule, the two heavy chains and the two light chains are identical, creating two identical antigen binding sites. Now, I am going to discuss about the functions. So now I will discuss about the different kinds of immunoglobin. So you can remember the immunoglobin types with this code GAME, Z -A -M -E. IgG, IgA, IgM, IgE and IgD immunoglobins. So first and foremost, I would like to discuss about immunoglobin A. So it comprises about 10 to 15 percent of the antibodies present in our body and it is found in the areas of nose, breathing passages, digestive tract, ears, eyes and vagina and it is the only antibody that is present in mother's breast milk that is present in colostrum and in some body secretion. Then immunoglobin D and these antibodies are found in very small amounts uh, either in the tissues or belly fats or cyst. Then IgE. It is the antibody that is found whenever a people they get uh, some kind of allergies or any kind of reactions in his or her body. They are found in lung, skin, mucous membrane. Then immunoglobin G that is found in all body fluids in our body and it is the smallest most common antibodies. It comprises of 75 to 80% in our body. Then it helps in fighting against any kind of bacterial and viral infections and the most important thing uh, in, to remember in IgG immunoglobin is that it is the antibody that that crosses the human placenta now I'm going to discuss about the immunoglobin M so immunoglobin M M means macro so they are the biggest in size so called as macro antibody they are also found in body limb fluid and it is the first type of antibody that made a response to any kind of infections that occurs in our body. It comprises about 5 to 10 percent of all antibodies in the body. So now a quick review about the, all the immunoglobins. So immunoglobin A it comprises of 10 to 15 percent of the antibodies in our body and it is present in colostrum mainly. Then immunoglobin D it is found in a very small amount and immunoglobin E uh, it is found in the people who are having high allergies then immunoglobin Z it is the only immunoglobin that can cross human placenta at 
Now I got the immunoglobin M, so it is the biggest in size, so called as microantibody. And it is the first type of antibody made in response to any kind of infection. Hope you all guys got some ideas related to immunity and immunoglobins. So thank you for watching this video. For any kind of topics you want to discuss, you all can comment me below down in the comment section. Thank you once again.